Ugh, I'm tired of my stupid phone freezing. Does this sound like you? Well, if it is, listen up, guys. I'm going to show you the easiest way to speed up your Android device just by running two free applications. It's going to take less than three minutes to do it. Let's go. Okay, and here we are. Now, the first thing I want to say is that this video is not geared towards Android enthusiasts because you're probably not going to learn anything. And if you're an Android enthusiast, you'll probably do a, a backup and a wipe anyways. So this video is for people who may be new to Android or may be uncomfortable with a few things in, in regards to Android or uh, people who are not really great at technology. So this video is for you guys, okay? Now, the first thing I want to do, first thing I always do before I talk about a video is explain what I'm using. This is the Galaxy S5 by Samsung, and I'm using the Slim Armor case by Spigen right here. Um, this is actually my favorite case for the Android, um, well, for the S5, and I'm going to put a link down below um, so you can check out this case too. And also, I am doing a case giveaway for the Vera store as of this recording. All right, so let's begin. Um, the first application we're going to use is called Clean Master. Now, to get to it, you go to your application drawer and look for Clean Master. But let me show you something that I do. I use this program right here called T9 App Dialer, and you can type in what you're looking for, like the old-fashioned phone. So C L E A. Oh, I can't spell. C, jeez. C L E. Here you go. Clean Master. Go ahead and click on Clean Master, and what it does is it opens up and it says, "Okay, um, looks like you're using 65% of your storage." and 83% of your RAM. The RAM is not a big deal when it comes to Android. Android runs with a lot of RAM being used and has this built-in task manager that it uses to cl clear out applications. So that's not a big deal. But 65% of our storage, let's see how we can clear that up. We can go ahead and push this button right here that says junk files. What this does, it does a scan on our system to figure out how, many, how much junk files we have on our system. It's a lot here actually. So right now what it's doing is letting you know how much junk is actually on your system and it breaks down in different categories. Let's collapse everything. Okay, um, so for example, under Memory Boost, we can see these applications are currently running right now. Okay, we can then close these applications if you want or we can leave them alone. So you can, uh, if you want, you, put a un you can put a tick mark there to uncheck everything or put a tick mark to check everything. Cache junk. So this is... Um, cache files are files that your system or your phone saves as you're using programs to access them quickly next time. Um, so for example, like Flipboard, I have cache files in there. I have 12.9 megabytes of stuff in there. So when I go into Flipboard, the last things I've accessed will load quickly. So here we can actually get rid of this stuff, 60, you know, 58 uh, kilobytes from Facebook, all that stuff. So we can clear that out if you want. And it lets you know that we have um, 200 megabytes of it being used right here too. So um, a lot of things you can do. You can really dig into this and figure it out. Or you can press the clean junk button. And what it's going to do is take care of all that stuff for us. And it's going to do a countdown of the megabytes that we have being used of junk. Now this is considered junk. So it's actually something that doesn't hurt your system for it being there. Just applications may take a little bit longer to load the first time. And that's about it. All right, so we said we cleared 87 megabytes. And right here is a bunch of other stuff you can download, but I usually click on uh, done. All right, we're down to 62% now instead of 65. So it may not have seemed like a big deal, but it actually cleared up some space. And I bet if you have an older device, um, you'll be using a lot of data, or I'm sorry, <laughs> if you have an older device and you have a lot of stuff on there, it will slow your device down. The next program we're gonna use is called SD Made. What we can do here, there's a little menu that slides out and lets us know what we want to look at. So we can just do an overview so it explains what is taking up our space. So the little, the little maid lady, or, or it can be a guy. All right, and right here just shows you what's using our device. So we take a look here at our internal storage or app storage, we can really see what's going on. So we can go to app storage. Oops. Sorry. Go to App Storage and it shows us, you know, what's being used and how much space is being used where, basically. Um, 
Now, for a novice user, I don't suggest going in here and just deleting stuff willy-nilly, but you can have an idea of what's taking up a lot of space. So if something's in here taking up tons and tons of space and it says like Clash of Clans or it says something like that, then you can go ahead and uninstall that application or uninstall that game because it is taking up a lot of space. So this right here is to get a big hierarchy view of exactly what's taking up a lot of space on your device. This application does take a while for it to load once you click on something, so be patient, unlike me. And then you can just take a look at what's actually running. So um, that's really it for this application. There's a few more views you can go into, and you can go to biggest, so it lets you find out what's the biggest files and what's taking up the most space. All right, so DCIM is where my pictures are held. That's 2.4 gigabytes and also my Android folder, which is something you you know let go. So here you can see where your files are being taken up at if you are running out of space. DCIM, camera, and all my camera stuff. And I actually have two things in here that's taking up a lot of space, um, thumbnail data files. So um, yeah, I can then delete these files if I wanted to. But yeah, guys, that is it. Um, as I said, I'll try to make this as quick as possible, but this is how to clean your Android device quickly, easily, for free, and that should speed things up if you do have slowness. All right, guys, my name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. I make Android videos and technology videos, and I try to speak to every single person, the laymans, the technology nerds, and all that stuff. If you like what I do here, make sure you drop me a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great videos and contests. Have yourself a great day. Peace.